Environmental Science Revision on Living and Non-Living Things The Seed The Flower Pollination And, The Leaf Living and Non-Living Things Anything that has weight or mass and occupies space or has volumes is called Matter Matter is never created or destroyed it only Changes Form Matter is anything around you, living or non-living, that you can See, touch, smell or feel Matter can be Solids, liquids, gases, plasma. The characteristics of living matter include Movement, nutrition, reproduction, excretion, respiration, growth, and irritability. Examples of dead or non-living matter are Stone, water, air, sunlight, temperature, water, air, wind, rocks, and soil. Examples of living matter are Flowers, trees, animals, human beings, birds, insects, fungi. Examples of transformed matter are pen, chair, bed sheets, paper, bed, book, clothes, bag. What can living things do and what can non-living things not do? Living things can grow, can move, can feel, can breath, can reproduce, need water and food to survive, die. Non-living things cannot grow, cannot move, cannot feel, cannot breath. Cannot reproduce. Neither eats no drink. Don't die. Either broken or get damaged. The seed. A young plant at its dormant stage ready to germinate when conditions become favorable is called. Seed. The part of the seed known as the real seed where the plumule and the radical start growing is called the. Embryo. The first shoot of a germinating plant is called the. Plumule. The first root of a germinating plant is the. Radical. The conditions necessary for seed germination include Sufficient warmth, fertile soil, air, and a good seed. A germination where the seed leaves are carried above the soil is called Epigeal germination. A germination where the seed leaves are left in the soil is called Hypogeal germination. Species or plants that germinate with more than one embryonic or seed leaf is called Dicotyledonous or dicots. Species or plants with one seed leaf or cotyledon are called monocotyledonous or monocots. Examples of monocots are bamboo, bananas, corn, garlic, ginger, onions, rice, sugarcane, tulips, and wheat. Monocots are mostly bulbing plants and grains. Examples of dicots are apples, beans, broccoli, carrots, cauliflower, cosmos, daisies, peaches, peppers, potatoes, roses, sweet pea, and tomatoes. Dicots are mostly garden flowers, legumes, the cabbage family. Seed dispersal. The spreading of seeds from the parent plant to other areas is called seed dispersal. The agents of seed dispersal include the wind, water, man, and animals, and by explosion. An example of seed spread by the wind is cotton seed. Examples of seeds spread by man and animals are Pepper, pear A plant with one growing season is called An annual plant A plant with more than two growing seasons is called A perennial plant The flower The brightly colored parts of a flower are called The petals Many petals form the Corolla The ovules style and stigma form the female part of the flower called The pistil the anthers, pollen grains, and filaments, form the male part of a flower called the stamen. The union of the pollen grains and the ovules to form seeds is called fertilization. A plant or animal with the male and female parts on the same body is a hermaphrodite, maize, earthworm. Pollination. The transfer of pollen grains from the anthers to the stigma of plants is called pollination. The transfer of pollen grains from the anthers to the stigma of the same plant is called self-pollination. The transfer of pollen grains from the anthers to the stigma of another plant of the same species is called cross-pollination. Insect-pollinated flowers are brightly colored and are pollinated by insects. Wind-pollinated flowers are dull in color and are pollinated by the wind. Insect-pollinated flowers contain sweet juice called nectar. Fruits which when dry split releasing their seeds are called 
dehiscent fruits, e.g. beans. Fruits which do not release their seeds when dry are called indehiscent fruits. Leaves. There are two main types of leaves namely. Simple leaves and compound leaves. A simple leaf is one that has only one leaflet. A compound leaf is one that has many leaflets on the same stalk. The functions of the leaves to the plant include food preparation, that is photosynthesis, respiration, and transpiration. Plants breathe through tiny holes on the leaves called stomata. The stomata are formed on the lower rough surface or back part of the leaf. The sending out of excess water by plants through the stomata on the leaves is called transpiration. If this presentation has helped you subscribe, like and share with friends.